Just a moment. Johnson. Oh, yes, Mr. President. How are you? I hope I'm not interrupting your dinner or something. No, no. I, we, we finished some time ago. Gordon, we, uh, I just learned tonight, our folks have been out looking at these libraries, and uh, is, is there no way in the world that we could uh, reconstitute as nearly as possible uh, in the President's office at the library, the President's office here? Well, we haven't thought of it, but it's, it's, uh, it's possible. Uh, I hate to bail me a little one out there at the side and say this is the way the president's office looked, and here's his desk, and here's his chair, and here's his uh, FDR picture, and uh, here's his where all these people sat. Now, that is the most attractive thing they tell me uh, to the people who go and hear it is Truman discussing where he sat in this office. Yes. I've seen uh, the one at the, uh, in Kansas of uh, Mr. Truman, President Truman. Lady Bird said, we, well, we have a trouble. She said, it just ought to be. We just should have thought of it. We just played hell not doing it. And now we got a bunch of can't-do uh, philosophy. She says that uh, the ceiling is not high enough. Well, maybe we don't have to have the same height ceiling. But uh, maybe... Uh, and maybe we can't have the same oval room. Uh, maybe it's got different dimensions. But it seems to me that if we could, we ought to take this rug out of here, and this, uh, just as the Kennedys are doing and have done, just as the Trumans did, and uh, ought to take the desk and ought to take the chairs. And we ought to say, we see very relatively few people come through the president's office here. But all of them want to see where the president worked, just as much as they want to see where the president is born when they come to our little house. That's one of the basic things. And it's going to be remembered and impress it on them a lot more than uh, some book up in a shelf. Yeah. And if we could, I just, that's the one thing I want. I'd like to have as near a reproduction as finances and architectural uh, requirements would permit. Now, I don't say it's got to be 18 feet high or 14 or got to be 38 feet long. Well, we might have a little card on the door and say this is not an exact reproduction or something, but uh, uh, I'd like for it to be such that say uh, where they get an impression that here's where the president works, because they all want to see that. They all want to, they, that's what they come to see. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. President, uh, we'll get the dimensions, and we'll we'll try to several locations, or maybe maybe there's more than one. And uh, it would be nice if we could do it to do it exactly, because I think uh, the quality of that room is the total thing, and it may be possible to do it. I well, Truman, they they tell me they've done a rather good job out well, there. That's the main thing in the whole place. There isn't much to see uh, at the Truman Library except that. That's why sort of people orient towards it. It's right off the lobby, and as I recall, it's pretty exact, even to the height. It's, uh, it's a wing off the, of a low building, so they could, you know, reproduce it exactly. In fact, that's the whole feature of the whole uh, uh, Truman Library. So it was easy to do there, and I, uh, and uh, goodness me if that's what you'd like, we'll make every effort. I'd rather have that than anything else about the building. I gather that, all right, and, and we'll see. I'm in there now. I'm in that office tonight, and I, I come in at sometimes uh, at 6.30 in the morning, and I'm, I'm here till late, and I would like for them to see just where we work, and I'd like to have the, 
the exact replica as near as possible. Uh, but I would accept anything that would be uh, better than uh, nothing. Oh, I think uh, we'll try to make it exact. And incidentally, it's a beautiful room. It really is a beautiful room. So that we ought to try to see if we can do it by going through a floor or something. That part, I see thrills. Just a question whether there's room and plan, you know, but we'll see what we can do. I see thrills uh, come in here. Every person walks into it thinks it's a beautiful room. And uh, if, you could, uh, if you could work on that, how are they coming on it? To well, they're pouring away. In fact, uh, the place that might go is just about, we'd have to catch it right now because uh, they'll be pouring floors above that pretty soon. But uh, it's not too late right now. Well, for God's sake. The only problem is if we, if we have enough space the height, I think we could work, but it's just a question whether we have enough space and plan to reproduce that oval. We'll take some space for somebody else. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do. You do it. Thank you. I know you can. And when are we going to open it? Well, I think the latest plans are really for opening it is in June of uh, of uh, seventy. Mm. It'd be done earlier than that construction, but then you'd have to put all the exhibits in. And I think the Max and I think the safe date for a sort of an official opening would be around June of 1970. Mm. I thought we were going to make it January. That's what I well, heard. Well, that was our original plan. The contractor is going along, and, uh, and it's hoped that he might be done in January, February, March. But it's going to take a little time to move in mm. and get all the exhibits arranged. Mm. Are you generally happy with it? Well, uh, the best thing about this, Mr. President, is that the contractor is very good, and he's doing a very good job, and everybody, we're all very happy with the quality of the job so far, and that's, of course, very important. Now, what about our exhibits? Well, uh, Mrs. Johnson's been working with Arthur Drexler, and I think the whole thing is coming along fine. I think the, the, the general design, uh, as far as I, uh, what I know of it, looks very good to me. Of course, this... Uh, if we can get this oval in where I have in mind, your office, mm. I don't know if we have enough room, but if we can, that would, uh, then, uh, then everybody would be happy. You just get it. Yeah. Yeah. Make it smaller. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get it. Thank you, Arthur. Right. Thank you. Waiting. Waiting. 